My name is Maz Jobrani. I'm a stand-up comedian as well as an actor. And we're currently at the Laugh Factory in Los Angeles during business hours. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, you don't even know. I've been dealing with kids. Anyone got kids? Anyone got kids? You got kids Woo! Yes. How old? How old are your kids? Oh, nice. Stand-up comedians have different ways of writing materials. Some comedians actually write every day and write jokes every day. Um, I myself, and, I, and I've heard other comedians say the same, we will experience something or see something that inspires us um, and we will bring that to the stage. When I see a view, it's not that I am directly inspired to go and talk about my thoughts of, oh wow, there's somebody experiencing something great and someone is experiencing something horrible. I, I don't create scenarios. Basically, my stand-up comes from my own experiences and my own observations. But what I do feel that seeing a view has in common with my being on stage is when I do go on stage and I talk about my personal experiences, I find that even though they're my personal experiences, so many people seem to have it in common. We, we, there's always someone experiencing what you're experiencing. If, if I'm feeling down or if I'm feeling uh, uninspired, seeing the view and, and thinking about people in different parts of where I'm able to see the ocean and the mountains and the freeways, I feel like, oh wow, no matter what, someone's experiencing something similar to me and it inspires me to keep going, but I think that that's something that being on stage has in common with a beautiful view. No, because that's the generation. I call us the research generation. I call, I call my generation the Whole Foods parents. You know what I'm talking about? Like the gener like we do research, we don't like, we don't even parent. Like we ask our kids how they want to be parented. <laughs> I'm not kidding, like if my son, like Dustin and my daughter, like why did you hit your sister? Okay, well how do you think she feels about it? Okay, well what do you think we should do about this? All right, well if you were in my position, what would you do with yourself right now? What do you think of the Chinese economic crisis? What do you think of your That's the kind of parenting we do now. I feel like I've, you know, I've, been, I've been in this business now for 17 years professionally and I always tell people this and I, I tell myself as well that you really got to create your own opportunities and that's part of the inspiration as well because if I'm sitting on my butt and I'm waiting for the head of some studio to come and be like, you, you know, that's not going to happen. I pick him up from school, I go, what would you do today? He's like, uh, uh, I'm like, did you read? Yeah, we read, yeah. <laughs> uh, did you play with your friends? Yeah, we played with my friends! Yeah! Were you there? Were you there? You need to continuously be doing these things and giving yourself opportunities because ultimately, when you do create your own opportunities, you tend to create things that you're going to enjoy doing. It's, a lot of times it's a lot of work, but at least you're doing a movie that you think is funny or you're doing a, a show that you think is funny or whatever it is. So. Really, that's part of the inspiration as well, is to create fun stuff for myself, because otherwise, I'd be sitting on my ass, bored to oh, death. I love you, and I just want to leave by saying, right here, inspiration, right there. <laughs> I just want to tell you all, right there, that's where I get my inspiration. All right, guys, I'm Maz Jobrani. Have a good night. Thank you.